Hey guys, Crochet and here. Welcome to another Finished Item Friday. I'm um, sorry I didn't have a video last week. I actually have a really good excuse. And my husband got sick. I guess he caught it from someone at work. And then he gave it to me. So um, for the past two weeks, I had a really bad cold and cough. And um, I was like so sick, I could not muster up the strength to crochet anything. And um, I was sick for like almost two weeks. Like I just finally stopped having a runny nose like two days ago. So... Um, um, so yeah, so I didn't have much to show and I wasn't, um, like well enough to be making videos anyways. So, um, but I have managed to finish a couple of items. Um, the first thing I finished was this loom knit hat. This was actually, uh, my first ever attempt at loom knitting. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I even did a brim, although it's kind of hard to tell. The brim doesn't really show up very well but it's still nice um, the only problem with this hat though is that um, because I have the set of four round looms and the largest one in the instruction booklet says the largest one makes an extra large hat and then the next one makes a large hat so I went with the next size down to make a large hat but this hat turned out so small I can't even get it on my own head and it was a struggle to get it on this styrofoam head it is so tight it's like like it's on here tight like <laughs> It was really difficult to get it on here. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this hat because I was really looking forward to having like a nice thick warm hat for winter, but I can't get it on my head. So um, this actually looks like it's more like um, older child size, like maybe for like a 10 to 12 year old child maybe, um, which I have two nieces in that age range, so it might fit one of them. I don't know. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this hat, but I really like it. I wish it would fit me, but it doesn't. Um, and this was also my first attempt at using um, Lion Brand Homespun yarn. And li I, I wasn't sure if I was going to like that yarn because the way, it's not like a straight yarn, it's like a zigzaggy and kind of fuzzy yarn. And so I wasn't sure if I was going to have difficulty using it, but it was actually pretty easy and really nice to work with. Is nice and soft and it looks wooly but it's not wool it's acrylic and so I re that's I really like that about it because I don't like wool because it's too itchy for me um, but this looks like wool and it's so pretty but it's not wool so I really like it um, I might try to make another one because I still have about half a skein of this left I don't know if it's gonna be enough to make a bigger hat it might be enough to make another one this size I don't know if there's enough to make one bigger than this so I don't know. I might try and see how big I can get with what I have left of that yarn because I really don't want to buy another skein because um, this is really expensive yarn. Um, well, here in Canada, anyways, one regular skein of Lion Brand Homespun is like seven forty nine, and I actually found this skein um, at a thrift shop for like two dollars. So that's why I bought it because I I didn't want to spend over seven dollars on a yarn that I wasn't sure I was gonna like but since I found it at a thrift shop for two dollars I thought I'd give it a try so I gave it a try and I really like it but I still don't know if I want to spend that much money on one skein of it so um, I guess I'll see what what size hat I can get out of what's left um, and then if it's not big enough again then I can just give it to one of my nieces or donate it or something um, and I don't think I mentioned this colorway is barley. It's just like a bunch of shades of brown. And there's also a little bit of kind of like reddish brown in it. So it's really nice. If only it would fit my head. Um, and the second item I have this week is, um, this actually took me a while to make. I made a shawl. It's a triangular shawl. Um, so it goes around your back like this and around your shoulders like so. Um, this is a free pattern from Bernat. I got it from one of those like free little pieces of paper that you can take from um, that's hanging off the shelves um, at the craft stores or the yarn stores. Um, I actually did find a copy of this pattern online though so I'll put it down below in case anybody's interested. It's a really simple pattern. It's just um, double crochets and clusters of double crochet. That's all it is. And then it has this really nice edging. I don't know if you can see it very well on this camera, but this is a reverse single crochet edging. So instead of doing regular crochet from um, 
right to left, you actually put the hook in the stitch on the right and you like crochet backwards going from left to right and it does this like really neat swirly kind of edging. Um, I really hope you can see because it's really neat. I like it. It's really nice. And it's like a nice strong edging so it won't fray. And I really like this shawl but the only problem is that according to the pattern it should have turned out a lot bigger than this. Like it should have been about a foot longer or a foot wider, I mean, from point to point. And from top to point, it should have been about another six inches longer. So I have no idea what I did. I guess my gauge was off. My stitches are too tight, I guess, maybe. Um, I have a habit of not doing a gauge swatch before I start a project, so maybe I should start doing that. Um, um, yeah, so I guess my stitches are too small and I need to use a larger hook size for projects from now on maybe I don't know um, so it like fits right on like I'm a petite person I'm like five foot and it fits me like right on but shawls are usually supposed to be a little bit bigger and like kind of hang off of you so it's not it doesn't fit quite as a shawl usually does but it's a nice snug shawl so I guess it's all right um, yeah, so there's that shawl, and like I said, I'll put the link down below in case anybody's interested. Um, and those are the only items I have finished this week, because again, I was sick and I didn't have much time to crochet, and now I'm really behind on the crochet schedule I made, because I have a lot of Christmas gifts and things I need to finish before December, and I have, like, a list of things that I need to finish every week in order to, um, get everything done by the time they need to get done, and I am, like... A week behind now because of my sickness damn sickness um but yeah so hopefully i will catch up next week and i'll have a whole bunch of things to show you um i do have one more thing to show you it's not crochet but it is sort of yarn related and it is sort of a craft i'm going to move the camera now um so up here on my wall i have some new art this is actually a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle that I put together and glued and mounted on foam uh, display board and then I hung it on my wall. I think it turned out pretty neat. It's so cute. It's a kitty in yarn. Um, this puzzle actually I found at a used bookshop that we had downtown that closed down now um, but they were having a closing sale and everything was 75% off and this used bookshop has lots of board games and puzzles and the puzzles were all a dollar, and then 75% off, it was only 25 cents for this thousand piece puzzle. So I was like, uh, yarn and cat, yes please. <laughs> um, so I bought this puzzle, and I had some puzzle glue that came with a puzzle that I bought a long time ago from Walmart that I no longer have, because it was not the greatest puzzle. And I lost a piece, I think, so I didn't bother gluing it. So this is the first time I have ever glued a puzzle. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, so I glued it with puzzle glue. Um, puzzle glue can be found anywhere puzzles are sold, um, like in the puzzle section, so at Walmart. Um, maybe I've seen it at Target, I don't remember. Um, they have it at craft shops. I've seen it at the dollar store in the craft aisle at Dollar Tree. Um, so you can get puzzle glue anywhere. It's really inexpensive. And so I glued the pieces together. Um, I put the puzzle together on wax paper and then I glued the top of the puzzle together. And then I took it off the wax paper and then I glued it to the foam board with wood glue because I read online that wood glue is good for it. So I tried it out and it worked out pretty good. I just bought a cheap wood glue from the dollar store and it worked out pretty good. And then um, the poster board was actually on sale. No, it's not poster board. It's foam board. So it's like thick foam. Um, it was on sale at... Michael's the original price was um four ninety nine. It was on sale for a dollar forty nine, so I got like a whole big piece of art for less than five dollars altogether. Um and so I glued it onto this foam board, but the foam board was white and it looked kinda weird with the colors of the puzzle. So I bought um the fattest, largest, biggest permanent black marker I could find at the dollar store and I colored around the border and it turned out pretty nice. I actually probably should trim the border so that it looks 
the same on the sides as the top and bottom, but I'm like afraid to cut it because I'm afraid of it like being cut crookedly because I'm really bad at cutting things. So I haven't cut it yet, but um, so yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. It might have turned out a little nicer if I used black paint instead of marker, but uh, I didn't really want to get out any messy paints or have to buy any paint brushes because I don't have any. Um, so I just thought marker would be the quickest and easiest. Um, so yeah, and that's how I put this puzzle together. And I think it turned out pretty good. And to the back, um, I actually got rid of a big, I had a big, um, like mounted piece of art that was, um, just the Toronto skyline. And I really didn't like it anymore. I didn't want it anymore. So I took the wire, there was like a, a, a hanging wire on the back of it. I took that off and I glued it and duct taped it onto the back of this and hung it on the wall. So that's how I hung it. And yeah, it's pretty cute. I like it. So that is my art. I'm sorry I rambled on so long about it. Um, but yeah, so that's all I have to show you this week. I hope everybody had a good week and I hope everybody has a good weekend and happy crochet.